celebration of the Continental Singers and we are really thankful to God that you're here and praise him for all the wonderful things he's done for us for all these many many years. We have a special evening for you tonight. We have a lot of nice and wonderful terrific guests. Don Francisco's here to sing He's Alive later. Sandy Paddy's here. Uh, Wayne Watson's here. Scott Wesley Brown is here and all of these Continentals are here and best of all you're here. Our theme for 1992 is yes let's go. When we came up with this theme, we were trying to find a way to say to the Lord, wow, thanks for the last 25 years, but boy, we're ready for the next 25. So somebody said to me, yes, for the last 25, and let's go for the next 25. We feel that we're answering the call from Isaiah, who will go for us? Here am I, send me. We felt that we're ready to go. We're answering the call from Mark 16, 15. Uh, go into all the world, preach the gospel to every creature. In John 15, 16, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you and appointed you to go. So here we go with the theme, yes, let's go. You might already know this song. 
And if you don't know the song, we'll teach you the words to it, and it's really easy, so we'll have a lot of fun. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. And he also says that when you have Jesus in your heart, you have light in your heart. And he calls us to let our light shine before men. That's exactly what this song talks about. Instead of putting a bowl over a light, we need to put it on a light stand. And that's what this song is going to remind us to do. Hi, kids. Why don't we put you all in the bottom here? Can we fill you in in the back? We'll put you right down here. Can we take a step down? We'll have some more people in front, too. Can we put you up in the front row? Okay, is there anyone else that would like to help us out? There we go. We'll put you right in the middle. Okay. Good job. Put you down right there. Okay. Well, kids, we're going to try to sing it, okay? We're going to put some motions to this. And just like you heard them sing, it's this little light of mine. in addition to that verse, we're going to try another verse that is hide it under a bushel. No, I'm going to let it shine. We're going to put some actions to it, and our helpers are going to help us out. Are you ready? Here we go. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. shine. Well, how many of you have a grandmother or grandfather? Does anyone? Oh, a few of you do. Well, this is how we think grandma and grandpa might sing this song. Let's all snap. Are you ready? Shine my light till Jesus comes. Are you ready? Here we go. Shine my light till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Shine, shine my, my light, light till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Good job. Well, how many of you have a mother or father? I thought so. Mom and Dad, this is how we think you might sing this song. That's a fun one, isn't it? We have one more verse we're going to do, and that is don't let Satan blow it out. And you're going to hold out your finger like a candle. Let me see you. Here we go. Don't let Satan blow it out. I'm going to let it shine. Well, if you have an older brother or sister, we think they might put a different beat to it. Why don't y'all put your hands together and watch this gentleman right here? Who's the white, shining bright for everyone to see? I won't keep a back like a pair of out, as easy as he could be. Who sees this light, this light of mine? I'm gonna let it shine. And if that bad guy comes in here, I'll blow the weary time. Boy, don't let Satan blow it up. Just blow it up. Don't let Satan blow it up. Just let that new life shine. 
last 25 years, there's something as a ministry we have truly prided ourselves in. And that is our very serious side to our music. And so this evening I felt that we needed to do a very, very serious song. And so I'm
Ah, you remember 1776? July the 4th, 1776, in Great Britain, Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> ah, you chucked all the tea over the boat. We left you at Lipton's. Now, come, come on, listen. Do you ever notice how long it takes girls to do their hair? <laughs> Just wait a minute. This is the favourite part of the programme. It's okay, he's Dutch. Anyway. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, because I, I am a true professional, I feel I need to continue with the concert this evening. And so, I would like to sing from my first album. Colin sings Southern Gospel Greats. Thank you, you have the album. I would like to sing Verdi's La Traviata. Questo duetto non ti devo is one we did in 1988 on Elijah and the power of prayer. If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer.
audition for the musical The Apostle. Evangelism Explosion provided the topic for our 1974 musical, Share. Joseph, and as I look back on his life and all that he became, I see how God can use us if we just have the courage to trust him, obey, and praise his name.
There is no problem too big God cannot solve it There is no mountain too tall He cannot move it And There is no storm too dark God cannot calm it There is no sorrow too deep He cannot soothe it If he carried the weight of the world Upon his shoulder I know my brother that he will carry the race marked out for us. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus Christ, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and then sat down at the right hand of God the Father.
my secret side of town There's no mistaking Bonds are shaking Walls are breaking down You can walk across the border tonight Not afraid to cross the line You can breathe the fresh air Kiss the free ground Leave those dark shadows behind What you gonna do with your new liberation? Open your eyes to the God of creation Freedom. Give the people freedom. But freedom without Jesus is just another wall. My name is John Redmayne. I have for eight years traveled with the Continentals. I consider that a, an honor and a privilege. Last year, I was a director for a Holland-based international tour. I was the only American on the tour. The rest were made up by Continental Europeans. We were able to go into Eastern Europe into some of the newly freed sections of the world. And there we found out the most amazing things. We found out how God set that part of the world free. We were able to stay with Eastern European Christians, and they told us a great story, stories of how in small villages, many believers and sometimes even non-believers would gather in churches at night to sing and to pray, pray to God to set them free. And then at different times, they would gather into larger cities, into the city squares, and sing and pray in the Soviet Union, where it is illegal. But their numbers were so many, hundreds and thousands of people sometimes, singing and praising God, and then turning to the city buildings and say, set us free, set us free. And the Lord heard their cry and set them free. I was able to, to come home after that experience. I was feeling very victorious as a Christian. And I called the American Office of Continentals to find out what was going on with the American tours. And they told me this story, that one of our tours, a standard group, was singing in an outdoor concert across the street from the White House in Ellipse Park, I believe. And there, about the third song into their outdoor performance, they were shut down, not because they were too loud or not because they were blocking anything. They were shut down because they were playing religious music on public property. And I couldn't believe that. It brought me back to America to do tours this year, to tell brothers and sisters in America that there is a battle going on, a spiritual battle, and it's not necessarily happening in the East, it's happening in our backyards. And so, we have gone across this great country to proclaim Jesus Christ as the ultimate freedom, and we want to encourage you all that in the midst of the spiritual battle, in the name of love, in the name of the ultimate freedom that comes through a relationship with Jesus Christ, to stand up or get down on your knees and fight.
Yet this world remains the same. Empires have been built and fallen. Only time has made a change. Nation against nation. Brother against brother. Men so filled with hatred. Still killing one another. And over half the world is starving. While our banner of decency is torn. Debating over disarmament. While killing children before they're born.
The gates and doors were barred and all the windows fastened down. I spent the night in sleeplessness, rose at every sound. Half in hopeless sorrow, half in fear the day would find the soldiers breaking through to drag us all away. Just before the sunrise, I heard something at the wall. The gate began to rattle, a voice began to call. I hurried to the window and looked down into the street, expecting swords and torches and the sound of soldiers' feet. But there was no one there but Mary, so I went down to let her in. John stood there beside me as she told us where she'd been. She said they've moved him in the night. None of us knows where the stone's been rolled away. And now his body isn't there. We both ran toward the garden. Then John ran on ahead. We found the stone in the empty tomb just the way that Mary said. But the winding sheet they'd wrapped him in was just an empty shell. How or where they'd taken him was more than I could tell. Something strange had happened there, but just what I did not know. John believed a miracle, but I just turned to go. Circumstance and speculation couldn't lift me very high. Cause I'd seen them crucify him. And then I saw him die. Back inside the house again, the guilt and anguish came. Everything I promised him just added to my shame. Cause when at last it came to choices, I denied I knew his name. And even if he was alive, it wouldn't be the same. Suddenly the air was filled with strange and sweet perfume Light that came from everywhere drove shadows from the room And Jesus stood before me with his arms held open wide And I fell down on my knees and just clung to him and cried He raised me to my feet as I looked into his eyes Love was shining out from him Like sunlight from the skies Guilt in my confusion Disappeared in sweet release And every fear I'd ever had Just melted into peace
This is a song called Into the World, and that is our commission. Amen. Why don't you stand up a little bit? Just put your hands together. Would you do that for me? Here we go. A little bit more track. Here we go. of his pursuit to think that God seeks after men we have known a mercy beyond compare we received a call that bids us there into the world let us go with boldness into the world as a holy people into the world with a healing the newest addition to the Continental Ministries, the Young Continentals. Feet, so the sun in my 
Cause you are the peace 
before we show some charity. Compassion and mercy the way it's meant to be. Who'll take the time for the one?
Our uh, 20th anniversary celebration concert's nearly over. One great last song left, which we will sing for you in just a moment. But first of all, I gotta remind you about that last song. It's a song that Babby Mason wrote, and she came to me and said, you know, I've got a perfect song for the Cottonelles. It's called Each One Reach One. She said that because she knows what our ministry is all about. Our goal is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world through music. And our message to all of you tonight is that maybe it's just not the Continental's responsibility, maybe it's also yours. And all of us together. Everyone comes in contact with different people every day. I read some mission statistics recently that since Jesus left the earth to go back with the Father, the percentage has decreased and decreased and decreased so that now there are more Christians on the earth percentage-wise than ever before since the beginning of history. Scott Wesley Brown told me recently that over 30% of all the Russian people have accepted Christ. It's possible that in our lifetime, every man, woman, and child on this earth can know about Christ. It could happen, especially if you and I will take the responsibility of sharing Christ with somebody we know. Someone maybe in our workforce, maybe someone at school, maybe our good friends, maybe our family. It takes some courage, but if we all would do it, you know, it's amazing if we would just reach one person a year for the next 10 years and everybody did it and those reach someone by 10 years, the whole world would know Christ. That simple. But will we do it? I would like to challenge all Christians in the sound of my voice to take on this responsibility. Each one reach one. Jesus said if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins. And as many as receive Jesus Christ into their heart, become the children of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. Our challenge to all of you as Continentals is if you've never done this before, before this evening is over, before you go to bed tonight, get down on your knees, or pray in your heart, or in your car on the way from this concert, and invite Christ into your life. And then a wonderful thing can happen. Everywhere you go, you can light your world for Jesus Christ.
Lord. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Don. And thank you, all you continentals, you great directors. God bless you. Here we go, Kevin.